everybody, my name is Bradley, the Portly Gentleman. Welcome back to my channel. It is great to have you here today. Today's video is all about the Still Spirits Filter Pro. Full disclosure guys, Still Spirits did send me the Filter Pro for review. Uh, no money exchange hands. Uh, I said that if I liked it, I'd make a video and we're making a video because there isn't much content around this and it's actually pretty useful. Um, if used the right way and in the right instance. So without further ado, we're gonna jump right into the video. Research it, mash it, boil it, ferment it, drink it, analyze it, share it, home brewing is good. So why would you want to use a filter like this? Well, obviously to polish your base spirit, maybe some vodka, something like that, but definitely base spirit, you're gonna do something else with. You really wanna polish it and clean it up. The stuff we're gonna use today in the demo here in a moment is a tomato wash that I used. I fermented it with some kind of special yeast. I'm sure you guys have heard of it by now, but it's by Angel Yeast. And sometimes it can, it has to me a, a very distinct flavor in certain instances. And this, as we see, hopefully will help me take care of those certain flavors that I personally don't find desirable. The filter itself comes in a really uh, comes in a box like everything uh, still spirits really impresses me with their packaging and their description and their instructions once again on the outside of the box you see everything you're going to get the filters construction you can see here it is super shiny stainless steel and you know i love that um, this guy came pretty much ready to go i just took the various components and there are a few main components there's the upper chamber that holds most of your spirit there's the main kind of column portion of the filter itself. That's gonna hold most of the included charcoal, the activated carbon. And the carbon they send you 500 grams, it overflows it just a tiny bit. I threw it all in there. I really don't see that hurting anything, but the, the particle size on this activated carbon is really small. So you're gonna have a lot of surface area and with a lot of surface area, a lot of filtration. Now, when you assemble this, the, the main column, if you will, on the bottom of it, it has a screen, and this screen is to hold the carbon in place so it doesn't obviously fall out and you know make a mess because you know messes suck. The next piece would be a tri-clamp gasket and a tri-clamp. These are inch and a half, and the, the the drain at the bottom, this little the bottom control valve fits a paper element, and these are actually pretty robust. It's kind of hard to focus. They're not super thin. They're definitely going to do a job of keeping all the carbon out because some carbon will get through and this is going to hold that so you have a perfectly clear product. Once it's been through this filter, it's fully polished and ready to go. They do state in the instructions and alcohol range. They say not to exceed 50%. I would assume that's only because of, you know, alcohol is flammable. You know, I would push it higher. That's just me. But officially, they probably... Um, say not to for obvious reasons and you know safety first one of the other key things that really intrigued me is there's a lot of filters out there some are, are you know different price points but this one is a turnkey solution and I'm a real big fan of that it comes with a wall mounting bracket which I'm actually using over here I actually screwed it through the exterior door I mean it's my house do what I want it also comes with a doorway mount. The doorway mount is stainless steel. All the hardware is stainless steel. But the doorway mount itself, I wish it was a little bit longer where the, where the screw piece that holds it to the door, the little clamp actuates, which is this guy right here. I really wish that this was about another four centimeters lower, is that three inches, something like that. Uh, for me and all my door jams, and maybe it's different, you know, in other parts of the world, the, the, the jam itself sits a little lower and this kind of bumps against the trim. It definitely would work, but I, I like to be able to shut doors, especially here in the brewery. We have a heat wave right now. Want to keep the cold air in where big boy needs it. So putting it together is really simple. You put the screen at the bottom, the, the end of the pipe with the screen, do up the tri-clamps. There's another tri-clamp that goes on the top that hooks to the big base here over my shoulder. And that's it, it's put together. Make sure that bottom valve is tight. Mine was already installed tight and it doesn't leak, but the instructions do say to check that. So you definitely should. It also has a lid to keep dust and bugs and debris, flies, etc., out of whatever you're filtering through this. So the first step in with mine, I actually filled mine with a solution of vinegar and hot water first, just to make sure it was fully clean. Uh, you know, it's pretty clean from the factory. I just did one-to-one -one vinegar water. I mean, white vinegar is, is cheap. 
then I rinsed it, and then I dumped in that full packet of carbon that's included with the Filter Pro when you get it. I dumped that in, and then I followed the instructions. I put about four liters, 33 ounces, 32 ounces of hot water in, and let that run through the filter. That's critical, it'll knock all the dust out. I drained it into a white bucket purposely, that way you can see the contrast of the, the dust that does come out. It's not a lot, but you definitely, your first one want to do that. Now having said that, you have now filled the entire column of this filter with water. So the first time you use it, and mine was a while ago, the first time you will dilute the ABV of the spirit. So just know your first run, if you put in 40 in there, you might get 35 out of it. So the first time you use it, I definitely recommend higher, somewhere in that 50% alcohol by volume range. That way it comes out somewhere around 45, 43%. After you've done it one time, you know, it's gonna be full of alcohol or so you're not gonna have that issue. But the first time you will have this problem. As far as changing the carbon, I really don't know how long it lasts. I'm inclined just to go off of smell and flavor and just to make sure everything is super polished and super neutral. After you have it clean and you've let all the water drain out, I can't stress enough, really let the water drain out of this as long as you can. If you can let it sit overnight, do it. The longer, the better. If you can let it sit over a weekend, do that. The longer, the better. You won't dilute your very first run through it. So once you've done that, take your, you know, your, your spirit. In my case, I'm using an Airstill Pro. Its capacity is small. Quality is pretty high on the product you can make with it. You can see it over here. For me, the amount of spirit I put through this is, is a good amount of distilling and cuts and stuff that I'm just learning. So it's a lot of work that I'm putting in here. So, you, you know, definitely it's, it's got to work, which it does. So dump that in. And then you want to set the actual drip rate and you use the little ball valve. The instructions say for adjusting it, you want two drips per second. I've actually found that pretty hard to hit. I'm doing about one drip per second, which means it's gonna take longer to filter. This thing full all the way can take about eight hours. The quantity that I'm running through it, you know, it filters it relatively quick. It's one of those things like tending a still, except it's like a stripping run. You just walk away. Obviously, if it's hooked to a door, make sure the door remains locked and no one opens it because I have mine on a bucket below just to collect the finished polished product beneath it. But it's, it's that simple. Just dump it in and let it do its thing. And you are gonna have a really, a really lovely product. It's gonna be far cleaner and far crisper than the one that came in. Uh, actually, we'll do a quick little tasty taste here because, well, I, I am thirsty at the moment. And we'll look at the differences. So the small one is, the product before, the this neutral spirit before I ran it through the filter, and the larger one is, is the one that came out. Um, they're both clear, there's no sediment. Uh, clearly they were both nice to begin with. On the nose, this one smells like alcohol. <laughs> on this one, it also smells like alcohol. I, I, I can't detect the difference on the nose too much. Um, has a little bit of that funk from the yeast, it's in there, yes, and The palate, it's it's you know it's pretty neutral, but it's not super clean. Hmm. Wow. So this one is much cleaner. It really, um, yeah. It it just any kind of roughness, any kind of off flavor after one pass through, with 500 grams of carbon in this is is completely gone at this point. It's it's really neutral ready to do something else, maybe gin, maybe add some essence to it and flavor it that way. But it, it's just, it's really impressive what the filter can do, the apples to apples. It will really clean stuff up and that's what filters do. All right guys, so I'm not gonna go too much into it. It's, it's really simple and it works. It's well thought out and it's well executed. I, I do recommend this filter. Currently in the States, uh, one of my favorite suppliers more beer doesn't seem to have this available for sale. There are some other stuff I've looked online. Definitely, I'm gonna to link to Still Spirits website. They will be able to link you to retailers around the world that have this. I believe the Malt Miller in the UK has this guy in stock. I try to recommend uh, companies that I've met people and I know that they're good and they take care of their customers. But one of, I know that they do have it, I believe. Hopefully they don't get mad if they don't, but they probably should. But this is what you could do. Just make something that was good even better.
All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone that watches my distillation content and likes, comments, and subscribes. It means a ton to me. This is something that I am quickly becoming very, very passionate about. So if you want to see something different or anything else in the future, please comment below. I'll absolutely do it. So as always, I've been Bradley. Remember, home distilling is good, and I'll see you real, real soon. Hoo, 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 we're filtering liquor today. Um, yeah. And my, my wife will get mad, but, uh, see that? Yeah, I'm getting a new front tooth, but the temporary isn't good. Probably shouldn't put that on YouTube. I don't care.